let us eat. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I got an exciting jam-packed video today. I'm extreme cleaning. In my crock pot I'm going to make chicken taco soup. It's a round two meal from my leftover chicken. I have my carcass still and I'm going to put it in my stock pot and I'm going to fill it up and make some bone broth for future soups. So we are going to get more bang for our buck with that chicken and we're just going to make sure we use everything and not waste. That red subscribe word and please click on it. Also, don't forget to tap the bell for all my notifications. I have to tackle the dishes in the sink. I'm going to need to sweep. I don't need to mop. I have some laundry I have to put away. And we are doing bed sheets and curtains today. I got to finish picking up the I table. I of our fuzzy fur ball yesterday. And I got to do stuff work. on the floor, not much. And I got to pick up the couch. And the bed is stripped. We got sheets downstairs in the wash. And why the curtains are down, I am going to pull the windows in and I'm going to wash them. It's still cold outside, but we wanted to get the curtains done. And I got to organize her dresser top a little bit. It's very cluttery. And when it's a small room and it's cluttery like this, it's just going to look messy no matter what you do in here. In my stock pot, I have the carcass from last night's whole chicken. I'm going to melt this down to make bone broth to freeze in my freezer for future soups. And I have all the drippings in the bottom of my crock pot with my leftover chicken so I can make tonight's chicken taco soup. So I'm getting multiple meals from the one whole chicken. I put five mugfuls of water, so about four and a half cups, into my crock pot with my leftover chicken. And there's about two cups of leftover chicken. I have my carcass in my pot, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Then I'm going to add celery, onions, carrots, garlic and black pepper, and a boiling cube. And I'm going to let that simmer for a few hours until it gets nice and thick and starts creating a broth. In the crock pot, you're going to have it set to low. And I added the chicken. I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes, onions, and celery, fresh black cracked pepper, garlic, and about two to three tablespoons of taco seasoning. I used about six to seven celery stalks because half is going to be going into the chicken taco soup and the other half is going to go into my stock pot. And I cut them about a half an inch thick so they soften and don't have a bite to it. If your celery froze a little in your refrigerator, don't worry about it. It'll cook in the crock pot and in your stock pot. Now I'm going to put this over my stock pot and I'm going to get my onion peeled and minced so you can see what the stock the looks like. Pot, I'm going to put half the onion. And the other half is going to go in my stock pot. And then I'm going to add my diced tomatoes. You can use fresh or whatever you have on hand. And then I'm going to add the taco seasoning, the black pepper, and the garlic. And the entire recipe will be in my description Two box. 14 and a half ounce cans of diced tomatoes do not drain. Add them right to the crock pot. And then three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. And be careful touching your crock pot because it is hot. Then you're going to add three teaspoons of garlic, and you can use fresh. This is a pantry stable and I'm using what I have on hand because on the 6th we're going to be doing a big shop and we're going to be cleaning out the freezer within the next week or so. An eyeball or use a spoon, measuring spoon, about 3 tablespoons of taco seasoning because you want it to taste Mexican. And then I'm going to mix it and let it sit on low for about 6 hours. Mix it well. And like I said, you can add 
salsa to this as well. Any kind of heat you want if you want to make it a little bit of a spicy chicken taco soup. Now I'm going to take my spices, except for the taco seasoning, over to the stock. Let me show you how that's doing. To your stock pot, you're going to add three teaspoons of the fresh black cracked pepper. It's starting to come to a boil. And I have the celery, onions, and carrots in here with the carcass. And all that extra meat is going to fall off the bone into the pot. And some of the water will shrink down a little bit and turn into a nice thick broth. And I'm going to add three teaspoons of the garlic. I already have my bouillon cube in here. And I filled the pot to about here because it will calm down the water level, evaporate. Here is the bone broth. It is starting to come to a slow boil. And then you're going to reduce the heat to about two and then let it simmer for a while then reduce it further to almost no heat and just let it sit there for a few hours and this will turn into a nice thick chicken like film on top of the water here and everything will blend in and have time to incorporate with one another to make a delicious broth for future soup i'm going to clean this window as you can see, it comes right into my house. I spring clean January and February every year because in March, when the weather finally breaks, we go hiking and spend a lot of time outdoors. I have to get my camera fixed. It's got a smudge on it, and I don't know how to get rid of it. It wasn't there, then it appeared after trying to clean it, so I hope I didn't do anything to it, but we're going to take it to a professional Wednesday. It's very easy to close it back up. This totally counts as extreme cleaning with the windows and the curtains in the wash and the bedding and sweeping behind the bed and the dresser as you can see here. Everything is getting done downstairs and I am going to get the curtains back up and the bed made when everything's all set and I will show you what it looks like when it's all nice and cleaned up. The curtains are back up and I decluttered the dresser as best as I can for my 11 year old. And we're waiting for the bed sheets to come out of the dryer so we can get the bed made. And the floor's all swept. And I did the corners of the walls. And you should do that a couple times a week to reduce dust. I have done some decorating today. Dollar Tree inspired. And I decluttered a little more in here. I got rid of two bags of things. My 11 year old's room, the bed is made again. This is my homemade broth that I made today. I have it all ready to go into the freezer. And the next time I have homemade soup, I will take out my homemade bone broth and I'll put it into the crock pot with whatever soup I'm making and it's going to be so delicious. If you remember, the kitchen sink before it is done and I'll put away the dishes when they're dry. I have my pork loin thawing for tomorrow and my dinner. The crock pot chicken taco soup is simmering on keep warm. I am going to take my ladle and add my chicken taco soup to my bowl. This has been cooking all day while I've been cleaning in between. A very, very, very busy cleaning day. 
seven loads of laundry because so we've been doing curtains and bedding. If you're planning on spring cleaning, get your curtains washed. They should be washed a few times a year. I'm going to take my taco shell, just break the taco shell onto the soup like that, as many as you want. And then I'm going to take some mozzarella cheese. sprinkle it right on top. This is a crock pot chicken taco soup and it's a round two meal and a pantry recipe. So you have everything on hand and using your leftovers you put it into your crock pot. I will put the complete directions down below in my description box so you two can make this delicious soup at home and it's going to be perfect for a cold snowy day. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you liked my extreme cleaning video and chicken taco soup, please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, tap the bell for all my notifications and click on that red subscribe word so you too can get it all done.